Hello everyone, this is Reza from Radakad and today I'm going to talk about a very small trick that you can use and combine multiple Excel spreadsheets uh, all in one file but combine them all using Power Query in Power BI dynamically without the need to get data from each of those separately. Do all of those manually using Power BI. Let's see how it works. Um, as you can see here, I have an Excel file with multiple uh, sheets. Each sheet is representing uh, part of the data. The structure of data is exactly the same in all of these sheets, but the data, the actual data rows are different. Uh, now, what I'm going to do is to get data from uh, this Excel file and explore all sheets dynamically. Um, I can go to Power BI Desktop using Get Data from Excel. Uh, and connect to that source. Uh, when you connect to that Excel file, because it has multiple sheets or multiple tables, uh, you will see list of all sheets and tables in the navigator window, uh, like what you see here right now. Uh, and you can go and select one of these. Uh, it really doesn't matter if they are all the same structure. I'm going to select just one of these, this one for example. Then click on transform data, you will be navigated into the Power Query Editor window. Uh, in the Power Query Editor window, which is what the transform data get you into, uh, you should see your query. I'll just bring my Power Query Editor window here. Okay, um, I can get large okay in the power query editor window uh, in your query in the list of steps in the right hand side you should be able to find a step called navigation which is usually uh, the step right after source right click on that step and choose uh, delete until end and uh, this step by the way delete that step and any step after that so if you have done some important steps, uh, it is good to have a copy of your query, duplicate of your query or something like that beforehand. So right click delete until end, that will remove that step and steps after that. Now I have uh, only one step source and this step is actually, as you can see, let me enable zooming. Uh, as you can see here, this is list of all sheets in that Excel file. Uh, and this is where the actual data of that sheet is. I see name of the sheets, the kind, because they might be sheet or they might be a table, uh, because in Excel you can also have tables. Are they hidden or not, right? You can filter this data. For example, if you are only after sheets, you can go and select sheets if there are sheets and tables, or you can select tables if you are only after tables. If you want only those that are not hidden, you can select that, or if you want to filter it based on the uh, some characters to be available in the name of each sheet. You can do every filtering you want. In this case, I'm getting everything. Uh, uh, then the columns that we need is only this column, data column. So what I'll do is remove other columns. And because this column is everything, we just need to expand it. So click on this little uh, expand icon and expand it. I'm not interested in original column name as a prefix, so I'll remove that. Click OK. That will give me the data of all sheets combined, right? So instead of creating one query for each sheet, now I have all sheets data combined into one query, uh, all done through Power Query through these steps. Uh, now that's the core of all of these. The rest is just some transformation you can do to clean up your data. For example, you might have headers that is duplicated. You might have blank rows and things like that. And I do that steps, uh, those steps uh, a little bit faster because this is not about cleaning up your data. For example, I'll remove any row with uh, the value of activities in it. Uh, I can uh, make the first row as header. This will become my headers. I can remove anything that the value of the first column is a date as a label. And this is a clean data. I select all the columns, detect data type, and then I have a clean data, right? Uh, but that data cleaning step is depends on your 
data structure altogether. The main point about this video was how to le uh, learn how to uh, find all sheets with just removing the navigation step and any step after that, going to the sources step, expanding them all, uh, and getting all the sheets that you want. This process can be refreshed uh, through a scheduled refresh process, either through gateway or without gateway. Depends on is your data source cloud-based or uh, on-premises based. I created videos on those subjects as well. If you like this video, go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We have weekly videos of Power BI and AI.